And we just dropped off some laundry and now we're gonna go to a farm. I don't know much about it except for that it has animals that we can feed and pet, so. So they said park here. What's that? Uh, it's feed. This is Ooh. to feed animals. Can I hold it for a minute? I'm gonna hold it because we have one to share with the three of you. Can I just have one? Oh, no, I'm gonna hold it till we get there. Can I just uh, walk around this way. There's gonna be a, a like a bunch of tractors that they can play with. Past the tractors, I'm, I'm not sure exactly where to go, but we go towards a barn and then we get to feed the animals. And also there's a chicken coop. And then I guess the playground is back there. So that'll be a separate thing. But first let's go to the tractors and the animals. Okay. And ride tractors in here. Track, track, track tractors. <laughs> Be age three to seven to come in here. I'm, I'm oh, so I can't go in here. You have to be age three to seven to ride these. We'll have to wait outside. Welcome, Mabel. Okay, sit down on it now. Sit down. And then put your feet on those pedals and pedal it. They learned how to ride bikes before they could ride trucks. Yeah. <laughs> We well, just went straight for the bikes. Isn't no that, training wheels, nothing. Isn't that funny? They don't know how to ride trikes, but they're good <laughs> at bikes. They figured it out. Yeah, it wasn't. didn't take too long. <laughs> this is a little confusing for a minute. So what is this? It's a farm? Is it a park? Like it's a farm park. <laughs> <laughs> if you're looking for low cost or free Mom? things to do in the Springfield area, this Mom, I guess I this is high. It. The highest rated thing it's free there's a bunch of stuff to do and the thing is this costs four dollars so that's how they get you there are two types of feed that you can buy in the visitor center and one is for chickens and turkeys not this one the other one is for everything but chickens and turkeys and that's the one that i chose because i thought it would be the most fun to feed the goats and the pigs and all that stuff but it turns out all those animals are in the barn right now like closed up and they're putting on a new roof on the barn and they have it like all blocked off, Mama, 10 feet look, around the entire barn. Window. So I'm gonna go back to the visitor center and ask her if I can exchange it for the chicken and turkey feed because we really wanna feed some animals. We went in and exchanged our cup of feed because uh, the animals that we were going to feed, they're all in the barn and the barn's being worked on so all the animals are, are shut away and we don't have access to them. So now we have a different type of feed and it's a bird feed for chickens and turkeys. And we're trying to feed them but I don't think the turkeys even understand that we're trying to feed them. One of them kind of pecked at Lyndon and hurt her a little bit so she's a little mad. Linda, no, don't, don't throw it. <laughs> Sorry, Miss Messages, because I told her to throw it in. I, I want to toss it. Rather than let them touch her finger. Well, toss it in, but not throw it at the birds. I think he's showing you guys your his butt, because he's like, not, doesn't want to be friends. I think these turkeys know about Thanksgiving. Wait, I have more turkey food. Oh, you have more turkey food? Turkey you can give it to the chickens. Well, there's a ton of stuff to do here, but we just happened to come at kind of a strange time because they're doing construction on the barn and they have all the animals shut away. Also, it's closing in 15 minutes, so we're kind of we're kind of rushing around trying to see everything. They have this awesome playground that looks like a barn and a silo. It's like its own farm, but playground equipment. It's so unique. I've never seen anything quite like this before, and I love it. Kids seem to love it. Yeah. There's lots of places to like climb in and around and run around. They can kind of get lost in there. So they're having a really good time. I think they close in 10 minutes though, so we're gonna have to do this in fast motion. It's 
close, so we should probably get going. But before we left, I put all the ingredients in my Instant Pot for Instant Pot spaghetti, and I closed the lid. So it's sitting there just waiting for us right when I get back into the Airstream. All I have to do is push a button, and then dinner will be made for me. Yeah, what another fun day. Every day so far in Springfield, we've had a, a great day. We're here at the Discovery Center in Springfield, Missouri. It's a children's museum and it focuses on STEM, science, math, technology, engineering. What? We need to go with the paleontologist thing. Whoa! That's my backpack! It's all his favorite. What's this she called, Lyndon? You shocked me. She shocked me. Plaz. Pala. What's that called, Olive? Uh, We just finished up at the Discovery Center in Springfield, Missouri. Everything yeah. was hands-on, so the kids got to just do a tons yes. of little experiments and games. I think their favorite part might have been the grocery shopping because they got to uh, pick groceries yeah. off shelves, put them in a basket, and then go to a cash register and check out. And that was super fun, obviously. They had giant dinosaurs, animatronic dinosaurs. But upstairs were a bunch of exhibits about the human body. So that was fun. There was, a, you could enter a hallway that was just a giant mouth, like teeth open mouth. And the kids got to run through that. So they loved that. Oh, that's for the school, honey. Yeah, that's the school right there. You can draw with it while we're here for a minute. Okay. Don't break them, okay? Even outside the museum is fun. What do you think of this museum, Maple? Awesome. Awesome? Mm -hmm. What number is it? Is it like 10 good? 10 or? out of 10,050. We're members of the Houston Children's Museum, which has reciprocity with a bunch of other museums all across America. So that was pretty cool to come here and use our Children's Museum pass from our home state of Texas in Missouri. Today is the Maker Faire of the Ozarks, and we just pulled in. It's pouring rain. Yesterday was the perfect weather ever. We were outside until like 9 p.m. just enjoying perfect weather. And in the middle of the night, it started storming, and we, we were kind of surprised by it, and it hasn't let up since. So it's just like pouring rain outside. But we wanted to come anyway because we've been in Springfield for a week waiting for this Maker Fair. The Maker Fair is kind of like a conference for people who like to make things. And making things includes all sorts of stuff, like scientific stuff, artistic stuff, usually kind of a cross between the two. I know there's gonna be robotics in here, and I heard there's gonna be something about dinosaurs. Yeah, we don't know yet really, but we're excited to see. We've been to the Maker Faire in California, and we loved it. It was, it was really big and a little overwhelming, so I'm kind of excited to go to a smaller scale Maker Faire here, because I think it'll be just more hands-on for our kids and, and a more enriching experience. So uh, we just pulled in and now we're just gonna make a mad dash for the door because it's pouring rain. This robot, there it shoots yellow balls. Look at that. Okay, we, we broke the robot. Look, it's still gonna come down. I think you have to scoot his feet forward a little bit. Oh, there we go. There we go. Yeah, now it's balanced. Let's not touch it.
Maker Faire of the Ozarks was a big hit because the girls got to make a bunch of different things. The first booth we went up to was the air cannon booth and they got to make air cannons which is so cool because just yesterday at the Discovery Center downtown, we played with a giant air cannon. So they were already familiar with the concept and it was extra cool for them to make their very own little air cannons. Oh, they're doing kind of what we did yesterday with the air Oh, drum. air cannons. Do you want to make one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Woo, there you go. I'm already glad we came. Yeah, me too. Just for this one little experiment is fun enough. Then we came across a booth that was making rhinestone t-shirts and they love that because they got to choose their little design and Lyndon chose a unicorn, surprise, surprise. Maple chose a crown and Olive chose a butterfly and they got to put the rhinestones on themselves and then see the process of the rhinestones being glued onto the shirt. Is this shirt making? Yeah, so we've got three different things. We uh, can put your face on one of these designs and print it on a shirt. Oh. Or you can pick out a design and we can do a rhinestone design on a shirt. Or we'll okay. help you tie a tie-dye shirt and you put your own colors on it. Which lettering do you like? Like this or like My this? My name's Maple. You're Maple? Yeah. All right. Purple cake. Okay. Do you want them the same color? Mm, no. What color do you want your name to be in? Uh, blue. In blue? I want mom to be green. Like that blue there? Yeah. Okay. I want mom to be green. Okay. I want mom to green. Yours needs to be green? Uh -huh. I really so like here's what we do. We're going to sprinkle those on like that. And I'm going to let you take this tool right here. And all I want you to do is just swirl it around mm -hmm. and see how it fills in those holes. Mm -hmm. You want to swirl it around until it fills all the holes in. Yeah. There is right there. Now then the magnets look, will stick you down. Big oh, 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 Maybe oh. you should stick with big letters since those are the letters. And this will oh, fill oh, those oh, all oh, up oh. in order. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to finish those for you? It gets kind of hard down at the end when you get down to just the last two or three. Beautiful. Overcome real quick. How's that? Is it a size? It's big, but you'll grow into it and it can be a night shirt. Wow, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Good job, you made that. You made it. I just love it. Maple, what did you make? And then we walked by the robotics section and we got to check out all the remote controlled robots, including one robot that shot balls out to us. So we stood far away and the robot shot us balls and we tried to catch them. And that was really fun. Last but not least, we made soap. So the girls got to learn a little bit about chemistry and we put together different ingredients to make hand soap. And they got to pick their own fragrance and their own color for their hand soap and then label it themselves too. So you need to grab a stir. We're making soap, you gotta stir it. One, two, three, four. Hi. Yeah, so since this is from plants and sugars. You're gonna need a lot more than that. There you go. Yep. Oh. So for these soaps, these lids, they have a cap, but you need to cut it off. Okay. So we're leaving the Maker Fair. We're all tired and hungry. I'm hungry, Mom. I know. We're all getting hungry. All right, hungry, let's go talk about lunch. Everyone had a really good experience. And it was really hands-on and, and I think they felt empowered doing all this stuff themselves. They got to make three really cool things while we were here. The giraffe was my favorite part, the robot giraffe who was riding a bike. 